Hey guys, Jim here with another tutorial uh, for Fragile Cinema, We Know Gaming, and Full HD. So, this one's going to be on uh, HD PBR, Model for 2, and COD 4, and sometimes World of War, best rendering settings, and uh, color correction for them in Sony Vegas, either Pro 9 or 8. Uh, I'm not sure about 7 because I don't know how that looks. But So, you can either go to File, Open, or just click Control O. And then uh, you can just choose your clip. So I'm just going to go to YouTube. Let's use this Game Battles clip. Shrink it down. Find whatever side is you want the clip to be. Or unless you already have it made. Or whatever. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and you want to go to... First of all, you want to go to Properties. And you want to go to Maintain Aspect Ratio and check it off. Just in case your clips aren't full screen. Mine are. But just in case yours aren't. I do that and uh, see we have these little these little very small black lines so you're just going to drag this in and save it as a preset HD and save it and then yep and that's not a big deal but it does help and then you want to go to your effects and you want to drag in the color corrector um, I like the color corrector first one the best. Um, oh, sorry, scratch that. Nope, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nope. Don't, it's the second one. You want to use the second one. Second one, um, the best would be just putting it on, you're going to drag in, I have my own preset, so that's why I'm doing this, but you're just going to want to click reset to none and just drag it into your clip. So all you gotta do is you know wanna change your saturation to 1.500, uh, gamma to 1.017, your gain to one, offset to zero, alpha to one, uh, your limit luminance, uh, yeah, luminance is zero for your low, your high is 255, and your smooth zero. Um, let me see if you bring it all the way up. It doesn't really do much, so you can bring that all the way up if you want. Uh, it doesn't really do that much. Um, and then your saturation is limit, low is 0, high is 162, smooth is 0, limit hue is center 180 with 360 and smooth 0. And then you're going to add your color curves in. So I already have a preset for you which I'll show you after, but you're going to drag in reset to none for you who don't, people don't have a preset. What you're going to do is you're going to take this little box right here and you're gonna drag this invisible line not not invisible this gray uh, almost transparent line and drag it up till it's even with the edge of the box until it's even right there so you see it's even with the edge of the box and you go down and you're gonna do the same thing for this thing so you're gonna drag this all the way down till it's even like that this is all this is going to do is bring out your colors a little bit more and make everything look a little bit better. And you want to go to sharpen, it will just be your next effect. And you can put in, uh, there's not much of a difference here. You can drag in reset to none, or uh, you can make, when you, or when you click reset to none, you can just leave it as is, or you can make it as point thirty, which not a whole lot of difference, but. Uh, if you see right here, and you can see on the preview screen, um, like that. See, there's not a whole lot of difference, so you can just drag and reset to none. It's fine. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do much. It's just gonna bring out the quality just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go to next one is saturation adjust, and I'm, you're gonna want to drag and reset to none. I'm just doing all my. Uh, um, actually, no, you're not gonna use these. These aren't necessary. These are just. Uh, if you really want to bring out your color, give it a different feel. Um, you can these these are obviously optional. You can add in uh, a soft contrast to make it look a little bit better, but it often darkens your clip. And I only feel that it works good with brighter maps such as Terminal. So if your clip's on terminal, by all means, go ahead and do this, or if it's on a brighter map, like Countdown or something. And you want to keep everything the same for the effect, 17.80, 66.53, 
uh, 15.25 for the diffusion. I'm going to go over to Vignette, and you're going to click Strength is at 60, Horizontal Blur is at 5, Vertical Blur is 5, Softness is, uh, Vignette Shape is a Rectangle, Softness is at 20, uh, Width is at 80, Height is also at 80, uh, Corner Radius is at 15, X Position and Y Position are both 50. Again, don't do this if you don't have a bright map, like the one I'm on Scrapyard, this isn't that great. So I'm going to remove that, but you can keep that if it's on a brighter map. It does make the colors look a little bit better. So, and then the next thing you want to do, you're going to click uh, Properties. And you're going to go to your template, and you want to click the template under Video. And you're going to go down to, you see, HDV 720p, or 720-30p, 1280 by 720, 29.970 FPS. So and click that. And what this is, this is YouTube HD. So you click it, everything is best. You don't really need to change much here. Um, 1280 by 720 is your uh, rate. Um, you should change this, not really necessary, but it does help a little bit. 59.94 double N TSC for your uh, rate. And you're gonna just gonna save, you wanna save this as a template, so we'll call it HD2. Um, and then, uh, you're going to go to, that's pretty much it, you don't need to change anything else, sorry, just going through this, and click start all new projects with these settings, and just be aware that for full games, um, you can, it will take a while, but they will look much better for rendering in HD, click apply, click OK, and then you're going to go to render as, and go to test, and you're going to want to go to save as type, and you're going to go to main concept, avc, uh, forward slash, aac, uh, star, dot, mpeg4. And you're going to click that. And then you're going to go to your template, and it's going to be default, so you're going to click custom. And you're going to go to custom. Obviously, check video. Uh, you want to save, this is where you can save your template, you can name it whatever. Tutorial. And you can just click this button to save it. And I'm not going to save it because I have one. But frame size, you want to change custom, is 1280 by 720. Uh, your profile is main with your frame rate of 59.940060. Uh, your field order is none, progressive scan, uh, pixel aspect ratio is 1. Number of reference frames is 4. Uh, your variable bit rate is 14,000. And you're just going to go over and just make sure this video rendering quality says best. And you're going to click OK. And then you're going to render your video. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and it helps you out. Okay.